The truth is that we really don't know necessarily the causes for all types of sleep eating disorder problems. Um, but there, are, you know, after a thorough evaluation with a mental health professional or a physician that um, knows about these types of problems, often certain predisposing factors can be identified. So, for example, one thing that can come out of an evaluation um, uh, for a sleep eating problem is that if there could be a medication that a person is taking that makes it uh, more likely for the person to awaken in the middle of the night and uh, become disinhibited and, and engage in some of this eating behavior. Actually, there are certain types of sleep medications that have been uh, historically linked to this type of behavior. So that can be one potential cause. I never recommend upon thinking about, you know, listening to a video like this and thinking about what might be causing your sleep eating problem that you make any sorts of adjustments to your medications without, with, without consulting a physician first, but that, you know, can be one potential culprit. Another type of uh, predisposing factor to certain types of sleep eating problems or night eating problems, night eating syndrome in particular, may be the um, engagement in dieting behavior during the day. So that uh, if you're restricting your food intake during the day, and sometimes there's a real, real strong drive to do that because a person has eaten a lot of food at night and there's sort of a compensatory um, idea of, okay, so I better not eat much during the day anymore, or I feel bloated or not so good, so I don't wanna eat as much during the day. That can really be a setup for um, increased hunger drive um, at nighttime and can bring out some of the tendency to engage in night eating behavior as a result. There can be a variety of other types of predisposing factors to some of these sleep eating problems um, coming out. Things in the range of um, sleep hygiene problems, so uh, you know a room isn't adequately dark for sleep for example. So in the end there really can be multiple different factors that can be going on in these types of sleep eating problems and consultation with a professional is really sort of the best way to start to get at the bottom of what is sort of keeping your sleep eating problem going. Thank you.